Welcome back to Good Day Orlando. It is Halloween weekend and the CDC has released a list of suggestions for trick or treaters. This as lawsuits over vaccine mandates continue to grow in more states. One year after the CDC called trick or treating a high risk activity, the agency is now encouraging people to enjoy the holiday with a few warnings. They're making a major last minute blitz to remind parents to keep the fun outside if possible. Wear masks if the kids come indoors. And Halloween treats do not need to be disinfected because COVID cannot survive for long on surfaces like candy wrappers. And if you're handing out the candy, make sure you have a plan to minimize contact with all those ghosts and goblins at your door just to be safe. What I was planning to do is just having like a bowl outside and staying six feet distance from the trick or treaters and they can grab however much they would like as long as I'm not in contact with them. The CDC also says an increase in vaccination rates was a factor in changing their Halloween guidelines, but not everyone is embracing the push to get shots in arms. On Thursday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis sued the Biden administration, seeking to block a vaccination mandate for federal workers and contractors. And in New York City, the firefighters union is telling unvaccinated members to go to work despite a 5 p.m. deadline to get their shots or possibly get fired, with some estimates putting the cuts in service as high as 20 percent if the city follows through with their demands. There's 80 heart attacks every single day in New York City. If a normal response that would have been six to eight minutes goes and becomes 15 to 20 minutes, you just can't survive. You know, if it's a serious heart attack, you're not surviving. 19 states, including Florida, have filed a lawsuit against the Biden administration over COVID. Biden's mandate for federal workers and contractors to get vaccinated is December 8th, or they risk losing their job.